Hello Internet, it's Zach from Happy Salad and I'm doing a incredibly pointless test live stream of <coughs> uh, the latest update. I'm going to give you a guided tour of the new update for Eve, which is known as Incarna. Uh, it's the first stage of walking in stations, sort of, but we'll get to that. Uh, here's the new title screen, just thought I'd show that off as well, demonstrating the new and improved turret graphics which have been put in with this update as well, which uh, do look rather neat. <laughs> That's all there is to that really. Uh, so let's go in. And you may be wondering, uh, why the crap am I doing a up uh, doing a live stream video of an update that is purely graphically graphical graphical in nature? It's basically totally cosmetic uh, on a horrible horrible live stream quality. Well, the main answer to that is this is just a test. Secondary answer to that is I really can't be bothered to set up any kind of other recording facilities. So this is what you're stuck with for now. Right. So here we go into the station. Uh, Get that out of the way. And that. So the first thing you'll probably notice about this, or will come to notice during this, is that the entire fancy bit in the middle here, this in walking in stations in Kana with my guy activities pointing your cursor at things, is entirely pointless, because up here on the right is all the normal station service buttons, and down here on the left is all your normal neocon buttons. So you don't need to use any of this crap in the middle to do any of the normal stuff that you do when you're docked in the station. Uh, except for up the top here, where it's a, well, just above station services, used to be where it would show you the symbol of the station that you're in. So, I mean, you can see it up here as well in text form, address zone. But nowadays, if I just wander my incredibly slow ass way over here, uh, the only way you can see the station symbol is if you go out here and look up. Oh, wait, not quite far enough. If you look up there, there it is. There's the freedom extension symbol. So that's sort of awkward. Apart from when you dock, you point, you stat, you come into stations facing down this gantry anyway, so you do technically see it straight away. So that's not so bad. Let's quickly go back inside. I say quickly. Unfortunately, default speed is saunter, so I'm going to saunter my way back in here. Uh, so here's the captain's quarters. Supposedly this is meant to be the Minotaur version of the captain's quarters. There may be other versions of this, presumably one for each race, in theory. That remains to be seen. Uh, bed and stool doesn't do anything, leave it to that interesting glowing control panel over here, which is sort of a shame. Maybe they'll put some more stuff on it. Over here you've got your mirror, which you can use to open the character customization screen. Uh, or you can just push this button. <laughs> Uh, let's go and sit down on the chair, if I can actually get close enough for it to activate. Oh, come on. Seriously? <laughs> what do you want me to do here? Already having problems. That's it, finally. There. <laughs> now I can not move at all and look at my view around here. Uh, we've got, this is the Corporation Finder. I say as I click it and nothing happens. Oh, there it goes. Uh, this is apparently new, uh, or improved at least over the older version. You can do all kinds of uh, proper searching for corporations that have put adverts up by criteria. Uh, I don't really know anything about that. This is just random information from the universe, so you can just you can see which panel it will open at the bottom if I were to click on it. So that's a sovereignty change, so that will open the sovereignty panel, and if you wait a minute it will you wait a minute, it'll change to something else. So it's a Concord announcement. Open the career agent directory. Oh, it's telling me about an agent. So, random information. And then on the right, you've got your planetary interface button, which just opens the science and industry panel, which is the same as putting that. So, also fairly pointless. Uh, on the table in front of you, you've got the agent finder. Also is failing to open, and oh, there we go. This is new as well. Uh, also not loading. There it goes. Uh, you can search all the agents by 
faction and corporation and type and level and all the various other options. It's a bit awkward that it doesn't tell you how many pages of results you have, so that's a traditional bit of user interface fail. Uh, yep, and then on your little ship icon here, you've got your various options to look at the various parts of your ship, uh, including the fitting screen. But obviously, fitting screen, and then down here you've got the cargo holds, and I mean the hangar and the ship and the cargo hold. You can, you can open by right-clicking on the ship in the hangar, all that kind of stuff. So again, that's another fairly pointless feature. So now I have to rotate so I can actually see the chair, so I can stand up. And let's go and look at my actual ship. Oh, hello. Over, just over here at the corner there's a little doorway and a button which says station door button. And if you click on it, it's station atmosphere is not yet decontaminated for catching consumption. In other words, there's nothing out there because we haven't made that bit yet. This is all that walking in station is for the first part of the encounter, this little tiny room and your ship um, viewing platform, which is what we're going to go and look at now. So you come out here, and there in the distance you can see my ridiculously large ship. Walking so goddamn slowly. I'm in no hurry here. Okay, so here you have the traditional sort of hangar view, apart from in so sort of sc in scale, in theory. Of course, it's actually still incredibly difficult to tell how big anything is, because it's one of those things where it's like, they've tried to simulate it with like the fogging and everything, but it's one of those classic things where it's like something so big and so not normal to see, it's really still virtually impossible to have a comprehension of how big it's meant to be. I mean, you can, if I were to go into my... Wait. If I go into my ship, oh, go into my ship information. I can find out how big it actually is. Okay, that battleship right there is a thousand meters long. Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> kind of impossible to tell. And and then if you look down here on the gantry, you can see the pod, the, where you where you go into in your pod gel. I'll let the train interrupt me. And then the pod goes up into the ship, presumably. And there's your undock button, in case you want that. And over here you've got another duplicate of the ship button. Uh, so yeah, that's the big ship. Let's switch that down to one of my smaller ships. Uh, let's go down to the industrial. That's a little damn oh, there it is. So yeah, that's a bit smaller. How long is that meant to be? 306 metres, so a third as long. Mm, yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, and they gradually, very slowly rotate as you're standing here, so you a do actually get to see them from all angles. Or you get to see the back of your head, obviously. Oh, and I should mention, you can have it like this, where you're sort of looking over your shoulder, or you can zoom out so you're in a sort of more traditional behind you kind of walking pose. Either way, it's sort of annoying to just have this giant fucking guy just obscuring most of your view. Not to mention all the random panels and shit around the edge of the screen, as usual. Mind you, I am, of course, playing on a four to f uh, 5 to 4 monitor, so I don't exactly have the screen real estate, which has always been a problem for me and Eve. <laughs> One of these days I'll get a white screen, maybe. Uh, so let's go down to my small ship that I've got here, the shuttle. looks pretty big. How big is it meant to be? Oh, it's 82 metres across the wingspan, so... Mm, yeah, I guess. I guess so. That does sort of look right. But again, it seems like they're quite big even compared to the battleships. I'm not sure about it. Uh, so that's basically all there is to the walking in station stuff. This little room, this little gantry, this not quite as cool way to see your ships. And you can't spin them! You know more station spinning! <laughs> You have to wait for them to rotate very slowly. Uh, so what else is there in this update? Uh, we can talk about these kind of ridiculous cloves, uh, which at the moment is a pretty limited selection. I don't think that's even all of them, and I'm not sure how you, how you actually get to the full list, so uh, 
sort of a problem. <laughs> but yeah, you have the pilot's license extensions, which is equivalent of a month of game time. Uh, you break those down into some number of Orium that I can't remember. I don't actually know because I really don't care about this feature. Uh, but you break those down into Orium and then you buy stupid clothes to wear with your Orium. And the clothes, I th I'm sure I went on about this plenty in the podcast where I mentioned it, but the clothes are a physical item. So if you want to always look like you're wearing your nice clothes, you have to take them with you when you go into your ship. Which is kind of silly. Uh, and then I guess the last thing that I can show in a bit more detail is those new turrets. Uh, so if I open up the market and go to the ship equipment and turrets and any old turret doesn't actually matter. Let's look at large blasters. So now I can actually preview the actual animations. That was an incredibly boring one. Let's see if one of these other ones have a more interesting uh, yes. The mega neutrons. Take them sideways. The thing about this is, the animation shows the online or offline state of your guns. So when they're offline, they they're flat down, and when they're online, they open up like this animation shows. Except, when are you ever going to online and offline your turrets in space ever? I mean, seriously, I'm sure in some ridiculous like low second zero space and all kinds of stuff that I don't know about in PvP. I'm sure there's reasons. I just never do it. So I guess they're always going to look fully open on my ships. Uh, let's have a look at one of the extra large ones, the siege cannons. We should have an interesting animation, will we? Hmm. Kinda. I think the lasers and artillery actually have better animations than the hybrids. No love for hybrids! Oh damn it. Oh god. Mm -hmm. Totally pointless rotating barrels on a laser gun? What? <laughs> Not quite sure what the point of that is. Uh, what else? Let's have a look at a pulse laser. A large one. Yep, that's sort of to be expected. Mining lasers also have animations, uh, like strip miners. Being the giant ball things that they are. And uh, kind of strangely, I mean, there's still no animations for missile turrets, which everyone is... missile launchers, which everyone is super annoyed about, as always, because missiles just spontaneously appear out of the middle of your ship. Kind of ridiculous. Uh, but they have added animations for the salvages and tractor beams, which I found really interesting because tractor beams... Uh, tractor beams and salvages, they go in high slots but they don't require a turret slot. Which means, say you had a ship that has five high slots but only two turret slots. That means you can fit two turrets to it and then free, free other things like track beams. But then since they have a turret animation, they apparently they've gone through and updated all the ship models so that they have five different positions, even if they only have two normal places you can put turrets. Which was sort of an interesting choice. Especially since they did this before missile launchers, which, I mean, needless to say, you did the salvaging and tractor beams before you did the missile turrets. That's a bit, <coughs> a bit ridiculous considering how stupid missiles look. I don't think I actually have a ship here that I can show the five different turret positions on. So my battleship only has seven and they're all in the same place basically, so that's not going to help. Uh, well, no, I don't have a ship I can do it with. Oh, and I forgot to show a projectile turret. I guess I'll pop up one of these artillery cannons. Doesn't look much like artillery. <laughs> what about the autos? I know that auto cannons definitely look like auto cannons. Oh wait, that's artillery as well. See, that looks more like artillery. <laughs> Do we 
have my auto cannons in here. Well, they're probably attached to the ship. Uh, make active and go to Finnick. Oh uh, yes, the rotating barrel auto cannons, of course. Even though there doesn't appear to be any individual shots, it's just like what exactly is coming out of those barrels? Apparently nothing, because it's just a flat blank surface. But never mind. You're not ever going to see turrets this close up. In fact, if you actually compare them to the size of my ship, see those are meant to be 14 meter long. But if you actually look at them on the ship model here, you can just about see them up the top there. I don't know about 14 meters. It's like that turret there, that little tiny grey smidge there is meant to be 14 meters. And that whole ship is meant to be a thousand meters. Well, mm, maybe, maybe. So you, at least you can still spin your ship in the fitting window, because <laughs> that's the most important thing, obviously. So I guess that's it. I guess that's pretty much all there is to this update. It's just fancy pre-walking in station stuff, where you're rubbing the back of your head and your hand clips through your hair and shirt. Good times. So right, I guess I'll end this recording now. Uh, I could jump in my ship and show you outside, but it just looks like Eve. Eve hasn't changed much apart from this, I mean, this update was only for this. And there's no animation for getting into your pod or anything, you just come off. So okay, I shall end this recording now. Hopefully, maybe there'll be more of these, or maybe I'll come up with a better idea for recording, or get less lazy, you know, maybe install some proper recording. Or maybe we won't ever do one of these ever again. This is just a test. Uh, how do I end this recording? <laughs> one more train for you. No, it's a freight train, so that'll be longer. Uh, buttons. I'll just wait for this train to go, just to finish this off. Okay, so, um, I hope someone somewhere gains some small amount of enjoyment out of this. I don't think anyone will, but what the heck. And I am out of here.